What is sovereignty? People don't even really understand that word anymore. Yesterday I spent the day in one of the tiny patches of true nature left in Ireland in a place called Brackloon Woods and they were so beautiful up in Westport in County Mayo. And when I get to places like that, I really come back to life and I remember why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I think it's hard to fall back in love with nature if you don't experience it all the time. Um, and the ultimate expression of nature is a mixture of all sorts of habitats, all sorts of layers of maturity. Um, we seem to have somehow forgotten what the concept of sovereignty is and all the myths in Ireland will tell us. They're kind of signposts to remind us that we need to get back to looking after the land. Because if we don't, she can't look after us anymore. And the only real way she can do that is if she has sovereignty over her own body. Instead, we keep deciding what clothes she's going to wear and the clothes don't suit her. They don't suit our systems of care for the web of life that we are hopelessly dependent upon. I, I often wonder like if, if, if it's too late and then and then I go, yes, yesterday I was in this beautiful place and it's so vibrant and full of life and it just, just wants to spread, it just wants to be um, there, you know, it just wants to be alive and wants to exist and wants to create and all the things that nature just gets on with, whether we're here or not, but we are here. And so now that we've broken the web of life and we've taken away the species that keep everything in balance, all the keystone species, well, not all of them, but most of them have been taken out of the mix because we've not shared the land, we've not shared the waters. <laughs> so now we're, looked, we're left with this very depleted version of nature. And shifting baseline syndrome is this concept where people don't realize what's natural anymore. Um, you know, in my parents' generation, you know, the skies used to go dark from butterflies blocking out the sun for a moment as they carried out their migratory patterns. And same with birds. Nowadays, you know, you don't see them so much, you know. Um, but we don't know any difference. So when we see one, we think everything's okay. So it's called shifting baseline syndrome, is that our baseline of what is natural is very depleted in comparison to the generations that came before us. So with each generation that passes, they have less and less idea of what what's okay, you know? So the only way we're going to fix this, because everything is collapsing and we can fix everything if if we just give sovereignty back to the earth, but allow her to decide what grows on her skin, because that's the foundation stone, you know, for what's above and below the soil, the earth. Um, if everything is balanced above the earth, above the soil, in the plant world, everything tends to balance below the soil as well. And there's 5,000 weed seeds in every square foot of soil and all it needs is like a thirtieth of a second's worth of light to activate those, those, those um, seeds. And um, the problem is that we have been very careless and we haven't been good guardians of this planet. And as a result, there's like a whole kind of layer of of plants now which have taken over in places they're non 
not native to the places we've brought them to. Um, and we've generally brought them as food plants initially or as garden plants because we thought they were pretty. And now those plants have taken over because there's none of the checks and balances that exist in, 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 in the places that they are from. And so they're pushing out the native ecosystems and you get this monoculture of a plant which has not evolved within the local food web. And as a result of that, the system around it collapses. It's that straightforward. And we have convinced ourselves that if we bring in lots of pretty large flowering plants to support pollinators, that everything will be OK. And that looks good initially. Yes, it probably does attract lots and lots of pollinators, but it's not really a whole food diet and it's very short term thinking because it causes the pollinators to ignore these very small, insignificant, often local native plants, which those self, those pollinators need in order to create a new generation of their own species. And so they start to retreat and the, the small native plants or the large native plants, depending on, you know, how insignificant their flowers are generally, um, they start to retreat as well. And so the system breaks down. And um, so that's not great. And really what we need is to restore native plant ecosystems. That is the solution um, to give sovereignty back to the earth. Now, often, the soil is so damaged and so full of non-native invasive species that it, it's not going to work, that we actually have to step in as the most important keystone species left on this planet. We have to step in and guide the earth, whatever patches we have under our care, back to full health. And if each of us does this, there is a huge, huge chance that patch by patch we can create some hope. Because if you're anything like me, I go between hopelessness and hope, um, depending on the day. <laughs> and, you know, now I've kind of come to a point where I'm just observing what's going on. And I don't mind really. I feel very bad that, you know, we're destroying this incredibly beautiful home of ours. And all the innocent creatures that we're taking down with us. Um, I feel very bad for them. So it's not too late. Like, I mean, that's what I got that message yesterday in those beautiful woodlands is that we can stay here if we just start to work for her rather than against her. And it's not that difficult. You know, working against her is kind of painful. And there's a lot to be said for a simpler life, a slower life. And, um, and yes, everything needs to change. And I don't mind those changes. Um, we might find a richer life at the end of this path we're on, you know. So sovereignty is where it's at. And um, I think it's time to restore that word into our dictionaries um, and restore it into our hearts as a guidance for any patch of the planet that you happen to be guardian of. You know, restore her sovereignty. Simple stuff.